What's up guys, Joe Simpson. Today we are gonna hang my second kayak on the ceiling. I never got a chance to show you how I hung this kayak to begin with. So I'm gonna put another one right here behind me on the ceiling. So I'm gonna walk you through step by step, show you how that works. Okay, before we go too far, let's talk about how we're gonna do this. So I'm using what's called a uh, game hoist. It's a hoist that's used to hold up, you know, a deer or a boar or something after you shoot it or kill it and you're gonna skin it. Um, and I'm using these brackets on the ceiling that are pretty hefty. I'll leave a link for all the parts and pieces that I use, but this bracket here is going to be put in the ceiling with some pretty decent sized bolts. We're going to be using a power drill to uh, drill into the ceiling and find the joists or the bottoms of the trusses that I'm going to hang this to. Keep in mind what I'm doing is overkill for this kayak. This kayak weighs about 130 pounds, probably 150 pounds, maybe. Um, so it's not going to be a huge stressor on the joist, but if you had something that was going to be a little bit heavier, you might want to change your methodology. But for me, this is going to work fine. I have the other one up behind me now. It's been there for months, so I think it's going to work fine. I have the socket set that I use for changing tires, and it's going to be what I use to drive in those big, long screws. So you may not have everything that I have. Um, if you don't, you can use a ratcheting set to ratchet those bolts into the ceiling. But I'll kind of show you as we go along what I'm doing and how I do it. And you guys can just follow along. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna climb up this ladder and I'm gonna go ahead and find my location where I'm gonna mount this uh, bracket. So I'm gonna go up there with a small tip. Once I find a good location for the joist, I'm going to go ahead and drill it out with the bigger drill and then I'm gonna follow with the ratchet set and the bolts. So first thing I wanna do is kinda eyeball where I think this thing's gonna go. And looking at this kayak and looking at the width and the space that I have here, I'm thinking right here is going to be good. So I'm going to go ahead and start looking for that joist. I'm going to miss on purpose first. And I hit, I'm going to miss over here. And I hit again, try over here. Okay, I missed. I found one here. So I think the center is going to be about right there. So that's going to be my first hole. Make sure you got a good ladder. That's that one. And then I'm going to go over here and put this one right here. And as you can see, I have found my two holes. And I'm going to drill it out with the bigger bit. Try not to kill myself on this terrible ladder. I'm going to make a little bit of dust. I covered my reels, so that was the important thing. That didn't feel great. Okay, let's see what we got. Tire changer guy here. I'm gonna put this bolt in here. And this is what I love about power tools. Makes life a little easier. That is for sure. Line up the hole. That's gonna hold one down because I already have the other one up so I already know where the joist is I'm just gonna eyeball the straight line and hope I'm right so really where I want to be is right here I'm just gonna mark it you should wear safety goggles I chose not to I'm going to feel Okay. I just get it close.
if you guys notice that. I didn't like that at all. That's coming out. Because that grabbed nothing. So we're going to move that over. Take a guess that that joist is over here. It doesn't have to be pretty up here, guys. It has to be strong, that's all. I think that's it. That's my guy. Now we're going to talk about how to hitch this thing up and keep it in the ceiling. So I'm going to cut out for now, get set up to do this, and then I'm going to show you how to thread these, uh, these hangers. Sorry about the little interruption there. And, and it really, I'm sorry about the orange shirt. I had no idea it was so fluorescent, bright and orange, but um, a little bit of a delay on the filming of this because I went to break out the pulley system that I was gonna to use to hang this kayak. And I found out that I only had one and I needed two. I thought two came in the box, but I had to order one and wait for it to come from Amazon. So this is a part B video and I wanted to just show you how we're gonna hang these. What it's gonna use are these two pulleys and there's gonna be a rope. We're gonna use a rope wound through the pulleys a couple different times. That reduces the amount of mechanical effort that it takes to put this thing in the air. And I'm gonna show you how I get this thing up here. The only thing I'll say about this kayak is my other kayak has two points in the back that I can attach to, which gives me some kind of balancing. This is only gonna have a handle and a front handle in the back. So I don't know if it's gonna center up and balance very well. So I might have to come up with something different for that. So the way this is supposed to work, you're supposed to take this rope, make a knot in it, so it catches here. Go down through this lower pulley and come back up. And then go over and then go back down again and then come back up. And when you come out of this one this time, you come out through this thing and this is your break. So I, I hope I can remember how to do it. So first thing we're gonna do, throw that rope. The instructions are funny because they're like, at the, at the end of the instructions after you put this together, it's like make a slight cut in the tendon, but be careful not to cut too much flesh. And they're talking about hanging a deer and I'm like, oh yeah, this is a deer hanger. But uh, yeah, we won't be doing that today, so don't worry. You can't put much of a knot in this thing because it's gonna wanna pull through. You can see here, you know, you want to stay clear. So now that it's knotted, we're going to come down. And this is annoying because it's pretty long. You're going to come through and you're going to go up like this. I'm going to leave that there for now. And then I'm going to come back up to the top. In here, you'll see a bar. You don't go over that bar. You go underneath. So you're going to pick one here and you're going to go through this one. And then you pick the other pulley. You see there's two pulleys? Just pick the other pulley, go up that one. And when you get it hung in the air, you can kind of move these ropes around as you need to. Okay, so I've got kind of even lengths there. When you come up, you're gonna come up this pulley underneath the bar still, but you're gonna come out the front of this, this hoop thing here, like this, right? You got the rope in and out twice and the final pass through comes under the bar out the front here so when you do this this will keep it from undoing once you get it hoisted to the ceiling you'll see in a minute when i hoist it up there okay now we're going to hoist this thing up there on the ceiling we're going to hang the top portion and then we're going to come back and hook the front of the kayak and hopefully get this thing up in the air and hook it on and this is your basic hoist system. Now I did my best to center up the kayak weight distribution in here. And uh, I'm gonna hope that it works. And I'm gonna be hanging this thing with a handle. See how it pulls out? And what you do is you go like this, you hook the handle Look at that, pretty cool, huh? So what you do is you just put your hand around here. It's not super easy, 
right? But it's not super hard. And when you want it to lock, you basically pull back in that top portion and it locks kind of like that. So you get it up, it'll go up. You go back here and it locks in place. And it holds the kayak up in the air, kind of like that. Well, guys, it seems like I got a little lucky and that we're going to balance out. I didn't really trust it at first. It's not great. You can kind of see it tilts back and forth, but I've got the handle in the center and the front. I've got the uh, pretty much the pedal and everything centered. I have everything distributed evenly within the kayak. So what I'm gonna do now is hoist it up so you can see kind of how this thing goes up. But it's definitely not hard. Notice the top lever comes down. It's like a pinch system. I'm gonna to try to keep it from swinging. Just go up as high as I can with it without breaking it and flipping it onto my head. And guys, look at that. I can walk under it. I've got a good clearance of six feet or more. Now I've got two in the air. So that works perfect. So what do you do with the extra rope? I just take it, grab it, because you can grab it right up here from the front. It doesn't matter if you throw it up in there or not. And I just toss it up and over into the boat. This is the mechanism right here. And you can see how that's a pinch lock. So that rope pinches down in there. And when you go to pull it, that lever right there will pull down and release that rope when you pull on it. And this reduces the weight force by about, I would say half. So whatever this thing weighs, like 70 pounds per end, probably you're pulling 35 pounds pulling force. And you can see we've got plenty of headroom under here. And again, back here, same mechanism. You've got the whole kayak and everything up here in the ceiling doing its thing. And over here is my other one. So the kayaks are up in the ceiling and I can walk underneath both of them. The second one went up a lot higher. The first one's fine. It's really heavy though, but the second one went up a lot better. Thanks for coming along guys. I know this wasn't the greatest instructional video, but I'll leave links below for these hoists and these brackets and all the stuff that I bought and you guys uh, get these kayaks up in here. All right, thanks.